Greetings! Welcome back to Sinking City. Let's go. I've placed a marker on the map. A place where supposedly there's the bar with Peter hiding in it. But I'm terrible. Oh, and following directions. So he. Make it lost or not? Or uh, yes, I don't know because it's closed. God damn it! The port is closed by order of Robert Frogmore. Back off. Me. Mm. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, map, map, map. It's here. How the hell can I? The alley back there. One of those there placed. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. There's a kill bar. So this way. Like I said, I'm very bad at <laughs> following directions, even the obvious ones. Sorry. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. What? Okay. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Hmm. Of course you miss it. Oh, hello. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. That wasn't awfully useful right now. Oh, I thought he dropped the bottle. Under the keel. What do you want? Eh, yep. I've seen some. Let's start easy. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. 
keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Okay, thank you. I reckon it won't always be that easy. You? No. Oh, he's in the room, but... I wanna see if I can find something else. Hey, who are you? Me! What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I've got nothing to hide. What kind of... Uh, why do you... you your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the sea. You're going to see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry had gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape... He was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, I can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah? 
A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. If only he didn't offer me bullets. I would have thought about that. But really... I'm kinder than I look. Lewis was aware of what he was doing during the fight with Albert Trout Morton. Earl Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his actions. I... I think he's telling the truth. No, oh, it reminds me of Sherlock Holmes games. <laughs> um, I think he wasn't really aware. I'm gonna go with that. And thus, Lewis was under mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can be made. You know what? No. He shot him straight through the forehead. But looking at this through the experience with Lovecraft, he could have been affected by something. But it was just so clean. Hmm. And that family. Okay, I'll leave that for now. And I'll need some time to think about that, but there's more than there seems to be. Like, you know, it was very clean to be. More doing affection, I think. It really looked like it was more than a revenge. Then the red murder. But on the other hand, there's the supernatural. Uh, that always been everywhere around in Lovecraft's creations. So he really could have been affected by something. And this is goddamn annoying. Wait, what is that? Why is that? Different color? No, I think they're all the same. Yeah, all evidence collected, all evidence collected. Okay. So I have all I can get. You know what? Eh. 
I think he was affected by something. Yes. But I'll tell the truth. Just as I suspected, the inn's mouth of Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant around streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood. Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Okay, so I've gotten some bullets after all. Me. Yeah. Lost at sea. Okay, we'll start by... Did you put something on my map? 
No, where is it? <laughs> wanted to get rid of mine. They will thrift. Pokemon Chronicle. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I think I have them marked on my physical map as well. Sweet. Uh, okay, let's see. It was Fortune Teller. Okay. Casebook. The key to the headquarters. The expedition it is in Norton Cover Side at the crossroads of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. Asher, Hubert, Asher, Hubert, Asher. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This is gonna be Cover Side. Asher Hubert. What is the partner? So it's somewhere here. Eh. Place mark. Danger. No, not danger. Eh. Treasure. Mystery. Blocked passage. The last expedition. This. The key. Okay. And this. Found an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria. Grabbing Oakmood. The expedition was to explore the sea battle near Oakmood. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert Dogmorton was the only known survivor. He was subse subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any of the expedition. Dogmorton will be waiting in my former report in his manor in Southern Old Grove. Oh. Southern Old Grove. Old, Old Grove. So okay, it is marked. Yes? Yeah, it is. What about Okay, that's it was lost. So we'll go that way, but you know what? I know the way is blocked, but I'll try maybe something change. Maybe he sent the word for them to let me it's open, yeah. It's really no use. I guess I can mark this but here. It's bro it's black. Eh. Come on, work with me. It is blocked right here. Nothing can be done about that. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis brothers. I don't know what exactly sang the USS Cyclops. Only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache. The worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive and reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad and bubbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The officials said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal proved it. I found something horrible on that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. Oh, Penny? No. 
Definitely not a penny. Again, they say. Okay. I think it's a A? a? Oh. No. All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. And I think this I suspect we are going whoa in the multiverse or something. The number of attacks on the Innsmouth immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying with more and more Innsmouthers exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes whole families are found dead in their houses. Police are on the case with several illegal Innsmouther businesses captured and their owners sent to jail. This city ought to have been cleaned of this fish face scum long ago, said Robert Fogmorton, head of the Fogmorton grand family. I regret only one thing. It all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would still be here with us. So he's gonna kill the guy. Okay. Well done. Yeah. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. You're not supposed to chug it down. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Hey, how how does that look? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is my day where... Pretty casual, if you ask me. A fish farm car? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> this definitely looks like Sherlock Holmes. That's very nice. Hmm. Okay, so I'll be unlocking them by the story progress, most of them. Okay, maybe I should... Considering the weather, maybe I should have taken the wind cold. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overextended yourself by conducting the investigation from Mr. Fogmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please, take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time, Johannes. Okay, so I did lose conscience. Okay, it's should I be studying for people? Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Really? <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, that is definitely something. Why are you not interested in that? I brought up the windows and locked the door. They are just men. They are King's gang. They can't get me get here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. Can I take the picture of something here? No? Really? You think that's not interesting at all? Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any squatters you leave. I'm actually amazed that you get any doors open by just pushing them. I think all locked doors are green? Yeah, so far. But I keep forgetting how to use the camera. The other one decided to board up the room. Hmm. I thought there was some light coming from the other room. Okay, these are open. So the light lighthouse is out. Several ships have gotten lost at sea and some are now decorating the city's beaches. That's one thing. But now there's an enterprising fellow at the city port hiring salvagers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look into it. 
Now, if only this city wasn't so impossible to navigate. Hmm. Have to manage. Okay, those rooms alone make me feel uneasy. Really. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood. They're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting a kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Easy there. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff. Really? Knock it off. Sorry. Okay, but okay, okay, but we'll start. We'll read it next time. And uh, Walter, can help you if I hear you peddling your cheap, affordable living again? I could live with you renting out these to read on flop houses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market and I have dangerous people living here that I can send after you. You've been warned. Vic. You're Walter, right? Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you know already. Kinda like this secret science hobos who's all over the country. What I'll learn is that the tradition dates back to times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meaning of some of them. You've seen the crooked H-shaped sign on doors around town. That means that the, that house in, is inhabited. That, okay, that's nice. The cross hatch grid sign marks hidden case, cases of useful items. Okay, that V-shaped sign is for barricaded, dangerous places. Good catch there, they say. Still haven't figured out the spiral-shaped sign though. You have to investigate for yourself. And if you see a sign with cross and free case, reach for the gun. Cross and free case. Okay. Oh, I see something. My dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? Should you require any support, the Black Hoods will be happy to help you. I have arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert sent, sadly. Only that he did not stay in his mouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Take good care of the hotel, please. Plenty of our rela relatives were interested in the property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil Swift is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Portia. Okay, and the last... No, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna end up here. And we'll start next one with a lot of reading. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye!